Hello, and welcome to this brief video on the new statistical analysis and learning tool, also known as SALT. This video demonstrates using SALT, specifically the distributions tab, in order to find various p-values. In this particular question, the student is given the mean, the standard deviation, and is asked to calculate the following probabilities. Part A, x is less than 60. The student would click on the Use SALT button, which brings them to the Distribution Calculators tab of SALT, and they are, again, asked to calculate x is less than 60. So we have a mean of 35 and a standard deviation of 13. Now the student would select the tail. This provides a learning opportunity for them, whether they choose left tail, right tail, both tails, or between. For this particular question, left tail is the correct response and we enter in the value here, and we get the p-value. For part b, the student is asked to calculate x is greater than 16. So the student goes back to salt, they would click on right tail, and they would enter in the value here for this p-value. Next, the student is asked to calculate x is between 16 and 60. Go back to salt. Student would then select between tail. And they would enter between 16 and 60. And their p-value is here. And lastly, the student is asked to calculate x is more than 60. So student would select right tail and would enter in the value here of 60, and their answer is here. Note that we visually show the z-score meter on the distribution curve so that students can see how a z-score associates with a p-value. You can use the z-score slider to change the p-value, which could be helpful for classroom instruction. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching. 